From the mo- Oh. From the moment I saw you trying to go over the wall. I have loved you desperately. I cannot breathe when you are not near. I love you, Charlotte. Oh, man. Mm, what a tortured soul. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Sintel with the Intel, and I'm here with the beautiful Michael Claire. All hail the queen <laughs> and Lady Danbury. There we go. The queen is here. <laughs> The queen is here. <laughs> well, unfortunately, this is going to be the last episode. I can't think it about that absolutely yet. absolutely bittersweet. Hey, if you've been enjoying this <laughs> and you want to catch up with some of the previous episodes, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description for that below. And make sure you stay to the very end because we have such a fun time going over some of the comments. All right, so with that being said, <laughs> let's get started. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Netflix. I was going to keep singing, but I didn't want to distract you for that part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Because I know if I would have, you'd have been like, what? Oh, I missed it. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, I, Shondaland, too. I don't know what to say right now. I, I feel like I'm sad that it's ending. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's, I'm, I'm definitely a little melancholy about it. A little bit. But I'm still excited. I am very excited. Oh, where are we? What time? Ooh, that look. They're looking at the king, I bet. Kind of turned oh, his eyes no. a little bit. Oh, oh the doctor. The doctor. I thought he was dismissed. You know who I think he's going to talk to. The doc? I mean, the king? No. Doctor, Her. It does you honor that you came so quickly. Inform me. I do not have time for pleasantry. I returned to Buckingham House this afternoon, only to be told that Her Majesty is no longer residing there. It seems she has moved to Kew to be with the King. Yes. That His Majesty required intensive private treatments. I did, Your Highness. And perhaps like you would like woman. to offer me some sort of explanation. Oh, she better undermine it. You cannot. I don't like this doctor. woman. I cannot, as I am no longer His Majesty's doctor. Oh, nonsense. Of course you are. No, you I not. have been dismissed. By the Queen. Yes. By who? Say, yeah. say by who? Yep. The King would not do such a thing. What is he up to? It is not the King. Oh, oh here come the drama. She did this? Yes, she did. Yeah, she did. She's the queen. So, oh, okay. England I like spring. You're not welcome on nature's even. abundance. The gardens I have been watered. I am so pleased you decided to ask me. <laughs> and look who pops up right when you said it too. <laughs> gardens are thriving. Yeah. Day is the first fine day. Perfect for a stroll. Yes. <laughs> for a ramble. <laughs> I had a great love. I do not expect another. Yet I suppose my standards are high. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right, girl. It's, it's okay. all right. It's okay to be excited. Yeah. She's going to see this crown or something about the her crown. Dad. I forgot yeah. about the crown. Yeah. <laughs> it's back there. Are these from your travel? It's back there behind the, the stuff. Oh, no. Or do your children send these your way? This is not going to go over well. See, she sees it. And remember, she was there when he was making yeah. it. Suggested to put the little things on yep, it, too. Yeah, the flowers, yeah. One oh, can find no. gardens in bloom in the most interesting of places. Discoveries are everywhere. But she could always say that, you know, I was mourning and your father helped me, which is the truth. She, she knows how much he really enough. was feeling making this for <laughs> someone we? special. Yes. It wasn't just like a... Let us walk. Yeah. And if it was for that, why didn't he say? Yeah. You know I, mean, I mean, it makes for better TV. Remains. Yeah. Infertile ground. Infertile. It seems as if a certain continued lack of fruitful bounty has left a despondent chill in the palace hall. Mm. I am so hot. We are all hot. I cannot breathe in this position. Move. Switch places with <laughs> Move. This is my spot. <laughs> He's like, I'm right up by the queen. If our mother queen. A faint relic in a dusty storage room. Mm. Our lineage will be a page in a history text. Mother, you are being most unfair. Am I? Right. Mm -hmm. Has anyone created a baby yet? Is there any fruit to show for all of my efforts on your behalf? All those kids. That's crazy. Yeah. That one baby. Paint faster. That we might end this nightmare. Dang. Poses. Yeah, but hop to it. You're right. Will His Majesty be joining us soon? Mm. I am curious to see what he looks like. Yeah, me too. You may continue. <laughs> you better do it from memory. I need you. 
Yeah, he's <laughs> they like, are gone. He's like, what's the problem? Are you saying Her Majesty is not sitting for her portrait? <laughs> Happy and graciously providing you with a reputation of excellence. Yeah. yeah. I see them. Do you not? Yeah, go ahead, Brimsley. <laughs> I do see them. Yes. I see them too. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shonda Rhimes, you're so brilliant. Absolutely. A warm meal and a bath must be a balm. You see more yourself. You look better. Is this the same day? I don't know. Charlotte, listen to my words. You should not have come. I do not want you here. That's George. not true. Go back to Buckingham House, please. Pride. Do you hear me? I said go back to Buckingham House. That is where you live. That is where you belong. Go. Mm -mm. I order you! No, George. Charlotte! You cannot force me away. I will not go. I command it! Go! I will stay! I command it. Mm. I have heard that you wish I had not come, that you want me to go, that you do not want to see me. Charlotte. What I have not heard is that you do not love me. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. And alone and believing I am a failure as a wife and as your queen because you stay from me as though I am a disease. Mm. Mm -mm. It suddenly occurred to me that perhaps there is another reason, a better reason. Perhaps you stay away from me because you care for me. Mm. Perhaps you stay away because you love me. Mm. Do you love me? We cannot, this conversation isn't, I cannot do, do you this. Love me? I never wanted do to you marry you. Charlotte, please stop. This is because you Same, do not man. believe that I could love you. Mm. I do. Mm. Mm. I love you. Oh my George. gosh, oh my gosh. We can live our separate lives and I will have this baby alone and I will make do and fill my days and survive all on my own. I will do that. Mm. But first you have to say that you do not love me. Oh my gosh. You have to tell me that I am utterly alone in this world. Oh my gosh. Wow. I am a madman. <laughs> I am a danger. In my mind there are different worlds creeping in. Mm. No one wishes George! that. George! I will stand with you between the heavens and the earth. Mm. I will tell you where you are. Do you love me? I love you! Oh. From the mo Oh. From the moment I saw you trying to go over the wall, I have loved you desperately. I cannot breathe when you are not near. I love you, Charlotte. Oh, man. Mm. What a tortured soul. Mm-hmm. This Madness has been my secret my entire life. Mm, mm, mm. It is you and me. We can do this together. Ah. Mm, mm, mm. Uh. Whew. Huh. Okay. You all right over there? Uh, yeah, you know, I just had to. <laughs> my drink was coming. That was all. I had to. Oh. Uh, uh -huh. I had to give him a drink right. Oh, look, they're sleeping together in the observatory. When will he come? Oh, little king. Very soon. Hello, little king. Mm. <laughs> he was come kind. On. Come on, He's Carl, joyful. Carl, I don't know what's up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then I'm glad for you. Girl cleans your sheets. <laughs> yeah, that part. Yeah, like, let's be for real. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing all the way out here? Getting out of mother's hair. Mm. So how can we be in her hair when our house has 20 rooms? <laughs> <laughs> He's growing into a fine young lady. Mm. Perhaps one day she will have an unimpeachable reputation much like yours. Oh, uh, that's... Huh. My reputation is quite respected. Hmm. I wish you much happiness on this fine day. I wish you happiness as well on this day. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. I wanted to thank you for your kindness after my husband passed. Hmm. Lady Danby, it is your kindness for which I should be showing gratitude. Goodbye. Ah, oh, that mm. was a very final goodbye. Lady Danby. Well, because 
when you bring your child with you, it's yeah. kind of it's very um <laughs> We can't do this. You're not gonna break up the happy home. Yeah. You know? We can't do this anymore. Yeah. He has a new doctor. Oh, that is good. What is his name? I do not remember names. I am female. Of course. Apology. Well she has to See, I know, she's gotta play yeah. the part. Yeah. With the Lords. All is well. And it is settled. I will let Parliament know he is available for an address. Of course. Oh. oh, that's a whole different thing. That's a whole other level of stress. Yeah. We come on behalf of all of us, your children. You represent the family, do you? <laughs> yes. Your siblings have entrusted you as their champions. Please. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, gladiators. <laughs> Do you know how many babies I have lost before they were ready to be born? Mm. Mm. Huh. You lost babies? We have all lost... We are trying, Mother. They're not married though, right? The I know each one of you can rise to the occasion. You do not know us. Mm. Any mm. of us. Mm. I want what is best for you. As your mother. You have never been a mother. Oh, we. Oui. Wow. I have been an excellent mother. No. I don't know. You have been our queen. Yeah. But you have never really been our mother. I could probably I see why he would think that. Why they would think that. I am off to work in the fields. We are cycling millet. Would you like to join me? Never. I shall stay here and grow up. <laughs> <laughs> She's like. <laughs> that would be me. That would be me with the yard with the yard work. Where is it? Here. Oh. From Princess Augusta. Oh, here we go. You will be giving My an address. Mother is writing me. Mm. Wow. Look at her face. She's like, "What is mm -hmm. this?" Because you know it's not good tidings. Yeah, we don't do well with stress. Now that I am here, his days are good. Uh, he not is all well. The time now. He is better. Is he not? He is better now. Yeah. Perhaps caution would be Reynolds, advisable. let him be. All he needed was his wife and a routine and to get rid of that dreadful doctor. Mm, he is that's well. not how that works. They don't know how you don't... I mean, the doctor wasn't helping, though. So I do agree with that part. Yeah. But for her to think that she's the cure... Is, yeah. Is, you know. That's a mistake. Yeah. I am so glad that you met Lord Danbury. The new Lord Danbury. Mm -hmm. mm. I know I met your son. Mm. Very handsome. Ah, uh, where did they? Yo, she's bobbing and weaving. She like, I got my guard up, nah. I am not sure what information I could possibly possess that one as brilliant as your highness could not obtain yourself. Mm. Mm. I believe the matter of title inheritance shall be difficult to settle. More tea. Mm. Mm. Well played, though. You got to give her props on that. I'm not a person for gossip. I were, I'd say this I've heard from several kitchen maids that members of the House of Lords are concerned for the King's welfare. Mm. There is Dang. talk that the palace is in jeopardy. Dang. But you are not one to gossip. Never. No, of course not. I certainly cannot ask Her Majesty <laughs> for help if that is true. No. Yeah, yeah, that's a tough position. Yeah, you can't do that. The King is not receiving visitors at this time. I am not a visitor. Yeah, yeah. You are most welcome to return some other time in the future. Ooh, I am play here that now. Card. George is not available now. Mm. The king does not wish to receive at this time. You dare to speak for him. You are not the king. I am no, his wife. But I am your queen. Your, Facts. your queen. Facts. You certainly have become comfortable. You chose me well. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> From the moment a king is born, there is no hiding for him. There is no room for illness or weakness. There is only power. I hear that. I have done all I can to ensure his yeah. power. Mm. And you are undoing it. That is not. He is not even trying and you are allowing it. Mm. His crown will not survive. He has a country. Mm. Mm -hmm. He has people. He must rule. The government is growing restless and suspicious. George must face Parliament. All we need is to talk. That's all. This is on you now. Mm. He is yours. Okay. Mm. 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 But you know, but she didn't know any of that. You know, I need the information. Your mother was here. 
I do not want to see her. I know. I sent her away. However, we must away as well. Back to Buckingham House. Charlotte. You have to address Parliament. Mm, mm, mm. The most ungrateful, whining children. <laughs> How dare they speak to me that way? Her, her, her hair keeps getting the, more ornate. Yo, the wigs are just on one million. We don't know. Yeah, just. I was you, a most the queen extraordinary doesn't mean mother. you a good mama. <laughs> yeah, see, look. <laughs> you know, leave us. I don't know. Just because you're one does not make you automatically the other. Your silence does not bode well for you. Your Majesty, you are the greatest of queens. And mothers. Mm. You serve one person, the king. That is not a flaw, it is a gift. Mm. Mm. Everyone serves the king. Mm. We all care for his majesty, above all. Not true. Brimsley, you care for me. Yes, and I will continue to do so until my last days. Mm. Mm. Brimsley, have you any family? Did you never marry? When could he have? No, Your Majesty. Married to you. Who could I ever find who would be free to spend a lifetime with me? I am here. Everyone here cares for the king. Mm. Mm. Brimsley. Your Majesty. Send in my dresses. Yes, Your Majesty. Ah. Oh. Mm. Oh, Sac I can feel the weight. It's Can't you just feel it? Sacrifice of everybody. Ugh. I mean, that is a great sacrifice. Yeah. I have been occupied yeah. going to the estate in the wake of the death of my husband. Yeah. Of course. You are mourning a great loss. And the children. Mm. Mm. Now, I have asked mm. the royal physician, and he says getting a baby out of me shall be quick and painless. Oh no. <laughs> you see the way she looked? Oh. <laughs> Hurt. Having children is the worst pain imaginable. I knew it. Mm -hmm. I was about to say, quick and painless. Mm -hmm. Wait, really? Yeah. Mm. And she had 15. It only hurts a little. And you shall hardly remember it when it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That's not a true friend. <laughs> you were in love with a man after your husband. Mm. We mm. are friends, are we not? Mm. Mm. Did I ever tell you about the Queen's brother? You and we knew Queen the Queen's Charlotte's brother. Bro Remember? Mm -hmm. That is a surprise because I am discreet. Hmm. Remember we kind yeah, of saw. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we were kind of. And that might not be a lie either. Yeah. yeah. See. Yeah. Uh, with the birth, it seems I may be in England longer than I expected. I, I wonder Shoot if I shot. might yeah. call upon you. Oh, no. Kobe. Oh. You are out of mourning, or, or am I mistaken? Yeah, because she doesn't have I'm all the colors anymore. Anyway. Yes. Then, may I call? Oh. Hmm. Oh. oh. May I call? Look at the way she looked at him. though. No. She was like, "Hold on, wait a minute. Let me scout her out." Very much. Oh. Now that's some leverage for you. You got the queen's brother. Prince Adolphus. He would like to Prince. court me. I said yes. Prince. I shall marry him. He is German. He is a nice man. Uh oh. The politics. And I thought, Lord Ledger. What of Lord Ledger? Mm hmm. Lord Ledger is married. Yes. There's nothing that can be done with that. Jewel shining. Always. Hey. I can feel you watching me. <laughs> <laughs> I like watching you. You are doing a fine job. That I am sure. This is a speech to Parliament. I cannot do a fine job. I must be brilliant. These are mm. certainly the words of a brilliant man. I bet when he does put his mind on something, it's crazy. I believe that too. I need this to stress my guy. This is important. Yeah. It might be yeah. best if we left the distractions. For another time. Sure. I feel that. <laughs> I got work to do. Oh, the baby. It is coming. Now? I believe so. Reynolds! Perfect timing. Yeah. You don't have to give the speech to Parliament anymore. <laughs> Out of my path. I was searching for you to tell you the royal physician arrived moments ago. He's in with Her Majesty. Yeah. Your Majesty. Uh. What? 
Because you gotta. Yeah, you have to play the role. Yeah. My master, hello. Thank you for coming. Your Majesty, surely you are not entering the. There is womanly work afoot. We wait out here. They do, mm. back in the day. Right. Yeah. And that was for a very long time. I'd imagine so. Back then, like, you just... <sighs> Listen, you know, the mortality rate was crazy low back then. I mean, crazy high back then. You ain't trying to mess nothing up. Your I... Majesty, she's asking for you. He cannot be in there. Your Majesty. He's got to make his own decision in that regard, because... Nah, homie, that's Do my... you like being Archbishop of Canterbury? Right? Mm -hmm. Would you oh. like to remain Archbishop of Canterbury? Your Majesty, Do you this... believe you can remain Archbishop by defying the head of the Church of England? Move. Right? Get out of my way. People try to make decisions for the king. That drives me crazy. Oh, uh, this archaic ways of going about all these things. Well, I mean, many women birthed children without... Yeah. And still nowadays, well, people yeah. still do. Stay. I am here. Whatever comes, whatever you need. Oh, the baby. He is... Ah, ah. Look at his face. Your Majesty, the baby is breech, coming feet first. Oh. We have to await oh. the natural evolution. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Awake the natural evolution. What does that mean? Been here before, yes. Four Awake times, Your Majesty. Death. And what are your thoughts? She's losing blood. That is natural. Oh. All normal. No, it's not. Too much, it seems, if I may. <laughs> All part of nothing to do. Doctor. I love Brimsley. This is just a nature. Just surely you would... Charlotte! <laughs> you are quite strong, and I you should be fine. Brimsley. Remember that. I had a horse, my favourite as a boy, and he was breached in his mare. The stable hands, they... Turn the baby. I've seen it too with sheep, with calves. There are ways to aid in this situation, are there not? There are methods, Turn the baby. yes. Yeah. However, with a royal... Prepare them. Now. He's probably the most scientific mind in that building right now. One arm here. Another here. Tight. One, two, and... He's gonna try to turn the baby. That is actually oh. a thing, but... Just like that, success. Yes. Mm -hmm. Magnificent. This is a... His, his nephew or yeah, niece. Yeah. Is he healthy? What's a he? Are there any signs? Of what, mother? Right? Mm -hmm. I am only asking. He is our next king. Could he be anything but perfection? Right? Mm. Mm -hmm. That's he right. is perfection. Facts. Such a great character for her the princess like i know she, people feel some kind of way about her but the way she's playing her is just so well done has there been a decision right a decision about what oh my about god the title. is my son to be lord danbury as i told you before that is a decision only his majesty can make this lady i am told you were there at the birth of my grandchild i cannot I could not speak to the king or queen on such matters. Especially not during the birth. They're having a hmm. child. Her majesty is Dangling attempting to run the crown. I am sure of it. What do you know? Hmm? Know about what? It's a majesty. It is a danger to the crown. Oh, danger. We had a very fine arrangement, did we not? Were not all of your needs met? Would it not be a shame for you to lose the very fine estate in which you now reside? Oh, the threats are getting st stricter and stricter. She could always go with, um... Hush. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's like, stop it. Her handkerchief? What is it? Oh, oh liquor? Some liquor. Dang, she got the liquor pouch lady. at the bottom of the I dress? Shipped in from Germany. Now drink. She said she had it shipped in from Germany. <laughs> Wait a minute. The princess stash. We have to take a moment. <laughs> she needs it. I do not want to know your burdens or hear what problems plague your life. Mm. Nor do I care. When my dear husband died, I had to throw myself on the mercy of his father. Mm. Mm. A cruel, evil man. Mm. My husband loathed him. I loathed him. Mm. Mm. 
He was vicious with Georgie. The bruises. Dang. I had bruises as well. There were no other options. So, I endured. Mm. And over the years, I learned I need not be content to surrender to the uselessness of female pursuits. Mm. Wow. I secured my son as king. I found a way to control my own fate. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, I do not like you. Mm. She's killing it. However, you have been an admirable adversary thus far. <laughs> game recognized Our battles game. Bring me satisfaction. <laughs> <laughs> Will not do. No. You are not allowed to come here and sob. You may not quit. Cover your bruises and endure. Do not lose control of your fate, Agatha. That's what I'm talking about. I thought she was about to drink it straight from the thing. Oh, She's she gave lady. herself something. Yeah. She gave herself something. <laughs> How goes life at Buckingham House? Get it together. I believe that news depends on what is to become of my son's title. Your Highness. Okay. Oh, that's what, that might have been my favorite scene <laughs> so this far, episode yeah. so far. So, well, no. I, I like that. The, that was dope. No, the beginning with I love you was the best, but this is the close second. That was amazing. What was it? Did his speech not go well? His Majesty did not deliver a speech. He never got out of the carriage. Mm. His Majesty could not get out of the carriage. What happened? You know what did what you happened. do? He seemed quite fine when he left He was here. not fine. <laughs> Your Majesty, forgive me. Only he was not fine. Mm -hmm. He was not. That was merely hope. Was he in the bed? Mm. Under the bed? Reynolds told me what happened. I am here. George. George, where are you? Mm hmm Is he on the other side of the bed, maybe? George, dearest, can you come out for me? I want to. But I cannot. The heavens, they cannot find me under here. Mm. You are hiding from the heavens. They are thwarted under here. George, all is well. No. Mm -hmm. All is very, very wrong. Oh my gosh. I could not get out of the carriage. Mm -hmm. I could not even read the words on the page. Mm -hmm. I'm no one's king. You will do better next time. Mm -hmm. There is no better. There is no cure. Mm -hmm. This is who I am. I will be here sometimes, and sometimes I will. You can leave me. Mm. I will not. You have half a husband, Charlotte. Oh my gosh. Half a life. I cannot give you the future that you deserve. Mm. If what we have is half, then we shall make it the very best half. I love you. Oh Tis my enough. goodness gracious. And as long as I am so, I shall never leave your side. You are king. You will be king. Your children will rule. Together, we are whole. Oh mm. my goodness. It is quite dust filled under here. <laughs> <laughs> I will need one of the ones from my father's house. And um, let the cook know that I am inviting Lady Damper to tea on Friday. Hmm. What do we talk about? They are throwing a ball to introduce the new prince. A ball? What's oh, yes, that. that. It is a lovely idea. She didn't even know she was like a it. ball. I had knowledge. You did not mention it to us. The well, palace need I? not mention all news to you. Right? Mm -hmm. Parliament wants to discuss measures. I am holding them off. This ball is his first social appearance. The king must be the king. Lord Brew is playing the heck out of his role yeah, because yeah, I, yeah. I can't, can't stand, stand that him. man. I can't stand his Despise. ass. Despise. <laughs> Just like catch these bones. Despise. <laughs> the lady does not stretch her neck like a giraffe. I want to see the queen. The queen has not yet made an appearance. She behaves like a street urchin. Dang. He is perfect. She right? brings nothing but accolades. I right? told you she's not yet ready to be out in society. Dang. 
Oh, look, there's Lady Danbury. She looks marvellous. Hello. Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> she like, you're quite fond of these, these chocolates, aren't you? Right? <laughs> she can't take it. She can't take it. If he cannot even face his people, he is finished. Lord Bruce, go out, sit man. somewhere. So go sit down. Go curl, curl your hair. <laughs> you know. You are not seem quite fine. You are hurting my hand. Shall we? Softer. Uh -uh. No. Let us smile and wave. Ready? Mm hmm. And let us dance. That'll it's, take your mind off of it, well, dancing well. And it's just like, remember when they were at um, Lady Danbury's first ball of the season? Yeah. You know, they were able to go in, dance, and then, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just let the groove hit you, me. man. Yeah. Do not look at them. Aperture. There is no one here but us. No one here but us. Aperture. I wonder what song they're going to play. Oh, some Beyonce Oh, event. my gosh. You're anyway. You were under me. Oh my gosh. Well, don't they look nice and graceful? I know the song, but I can't place it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it, I, I, uh. to celebrate the arrival of our new prince. Unsurprisingly, given I am the third, we have chosen to name him George the Fourth. <laughs> <laughs> to your future king. With your hate and self. Yeah, Lord Bruce. Fix your face. A Agatha? Mm. I She said that from her soul. Marry you. Yeah. I am sorry. Well, because she's just finding out what it's like to be her own person. Yeah. He would have listened to me and cared for me, yet it does not change what I know to be true. I cannot marry you. Mm. Mm. Look, you, you are. This, this is a terrible mistake you are making. Mm. Poor Adolphus, though. I mean, I get it and I respect it, but poor Adolphus. Perhaps. I am making a terrible mistake, but it is mine to make. Your choice to make, mm. yeah. I do hope you will forgive me. I get both sides of that. I get all sides of it, I should say. Yeah. I have only ever wanted him to be happy. I do he believe that. Happy. Yes. I do believe that. You make him happy. Mm. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. That part. Shall we dance? Yes. Whitney Houston, and I will always love you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> if you ever speak of my floral arrangements again, yeah, though. Yeah, don't get it twisted. There's yeah, going to yeah, be yeah. problems. <laughs> I worked hard in floor arrangements. Right? <laughs> have you come to complain? Or have you come to see the new portrait? No, but she's mother, expecting. We... Well. We come bearing news. She's expecting. Are yeah. you quite sure? Mm-hmm. Yes, your majesty. I waited for quite some time so there would be no doubt. You will have oh. your heir, mother. Oh. I hope that will be all right with you. A girl is wonderful. And a strong queen is just what this country needs. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Oh my gosh, the sacrifice that she has made. His humor may lack wit, and yes, his condescendence knows no bounds. He is, however, a person of fine character. Absolutely. Absolutely. The fate of your family, of all the families recently titled. I apologize, your majesty. 
I only didn't want to place my burdens on top of your own. Yours, mm. which seems so... Mm. You tell me my castle walls are too high. I tell you they must be. High as the sky, if necessary, to protect you. Mm. To protect all our worthy subjects. Mm. To do otherwise would suggest we are incapable of addressing them. Unless that is what you believe. Dang, Queen. Lady Shanbury. Carry it, doll. <laughs> Queen. Lady. You may go. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mary. I shall send for you soon. Mm. Yes, your Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty. Right? <laughs> oh, indulge. For once, for me. I'm I ordering order it. it. Yeah. yeah. Your commitment to the welfare of the crown outweighs your order. Yeah, that's true too, though. Finally. Someone who will drink with me. I will not. You refuse me as well. She expecting just, again? Yeah. Since you must. I must not. Yeah, she's expecting again. For a while. Yep. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> Fates of too many rests on us securing your line. Our line. Mm -hmm. Charlotte. Number two. Do not hover, Brimsley. I am quite capable of seeing him on my own. Oh, I can only imagine what this is like. George! Do not bother me in, in, in the sky. George, it is me. It is your Charlotte. I have some news, George. Wonderful news. George? George? Oh, they're going under the bed. <laughs> Just George. Farmer George. <laughs> Come. Hide from the heavens with me. Charlotte. Hi, hello. Hello, George. Mm. George, we have succeeded. Our son, Edward, he has married and his wife is with child. Mm. Edward? Going to be a father? Yes. Mm. Huh. Your line will live on. Mm. Our line. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Y'all trying to get Our me. Line. Mm. Oh. Thank you. Oh. oh. Thank you. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> <laughs> you did not go over the wall. No, George. Oh, this dust. Oh, yeah, I'm in. Then my allergies, you know, my allergies be acting up. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Hey, and that is going to conclude our reaction to the season finale of Queen Charlotte. Oh, my goodness. Hey, thank you all. If you made it this far, make sure you can stay to the very, very end because we are going to address some of the comments from the previous episode. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's going to be tons of fun. All right. Wow. This was... This was incredible. First first thoughts regarding uh, this episode of the series as a whole. We're going to speak on both parts. Yeah, actually. I think um, series as a whole, first thoughts, tragic love story. Yeah. Um, and not tragic in the aspect of like there not being love or that it be or being loveless. It's just tragic because of the circumstance. So I think that's my initial thoughts. OK. Yeah. I guess my first thoughts is I was concerned about the episode length. Mm. I was like, is six going to be enough to tell this story? Oh, the series length. Yeah, the okay, series. Oh, okay, the episode. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. sorry, sorry. Yeah, okay. the series length. I thought six episodes. I was like, is that going to be enough to kind of like tell this story? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, the typical thing, 10, 12, yeah. you know, yeah. and, and need those numbers. But I think it was the perfect length now. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just enough. It was not no unnecessary filler. Every episode carried a tremendous amount of weight. Uh, and then I thought they really stuck the landing because in my head, I'm like, well, it has to end in some kind of tragedy. Mm. 
and it doesn't it's they're unfortunate circumstances uh, you know but it's not a tragedy the love did prevail it's just it's just not a typical love hmm. you know and to be able to still overcome and for her to still have her kings back throughout the, throughout the entire series mm -hmm. you know i i love that but i think the hidden gem for me is is the danbury stuff with um with with agatha uh this is not to take anything away from from charlotte and george's story by no means that was great i loved it all the way but i really it was just a great addition to have uh, lady danbury's story as as prominent or well not not a, not the same amount of screen time but a very prominent and an interesting story to go along with it well yeah and for me like as i think i had stated uh last episode i feel like a lot of it is about love mm -hmm. like that's the underlying thing right mm -hmm. and just um the unconditional love that the queen had for the king the love that uh, princess augusta had for the king mm -hmm. as her son the love that lady danbury found in herself even though she was going through what she went through with lord ledger mm -hmm. you know what i mean so there's certain things that just kind of and we see Brimsley and Reynolds. I mean, there's yeah. so many different love stories. Mm -hmm. And I loved seeing each one and, and their uniqueness and their sorrow and their joy. Yeah. You know, so all of that, every aspect of that was just beautifully done. Yeah. If there is any like any small disappointment that I do have, there is mm. there is one. I'm not going to lie. There is one small disappointment. Okay. And that is, I don't know what happened to Reynolds. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, um, who knows? For all we know, it could be a spinoff. You know, yeah. It's and maybe they just left that open so that you know they have room to kind of work with. Mm. But that was the one thing that did seem just a little bit like, why would you not at conclude? least know where yeah. he is? Yeah, or is exactly. he passed away, or is he still with the king somewhere? Right. And we just. Uh, but there are other interesting cutoffs that I thought was kind of cool too, and that is like the moment of understanding between older Lady Danbury and Violet mm -hmm. when they just have that moment, mm -hmm. and nothing else really needs to be said for us. You mm -hmm. know, that in the room mm -hmm. was enough to be. I liked the way that they that they ended that. I did too because they made it yeah. that you know each of them knew that the other knew, and I did like that too. I appreciated that and the way that they did it with her displaying memories. Yeah. of her dad and being like okay so i know that you know the significance of this yes and the fact that they're still friends yes and i read in a comment somewhere you know that they made the mother so horrible and racist and all this stuff oh. so we would <laughs> so we would get over the fact that you know the dad was kind of stepping out uh, on her yeah yeah like and like so, it was a little yeah, shady yeah. but you know <laughs> so that's why that's why i'm thinking that's why i was like violet knows her mama was horrible yeah, yeah. and she's like well you know lady dad is a better choice you know yeah. he should have just met her first i love the way they handled that as well was there anything in this particular episode or in the series as a whole that still kind of like resonates with you i think her unconditional love for him yeah i mean you know people say in sickness and health and don't always mean it yeah and not saying that they said that at their coronation or because i have no idea what their vows were right. but I just know that not everybody believes that or is really there for that. Yeah. So to see that she was there for that and some yeah. really is what resonates with me yeah. throughout the entire series. What about you? Uh, there's two. There's two big scenes. The first is when Charlotte goes to get her king and stands by him. Mm. He's wounded and wants to kind of just go off into oblivion and she's not going to let him. Mm. And that moment when she was like, if you tell me you don't, you don't love, love me. me I thought that set the tone for the rest of the episode. Mm -hmm. It just set just such a great tone. Mm -hmm. And then the next for my my favorite is Princess Augusta. Mm. You know, she has been to me, Michelle Farley, who plays her, mm -hmm. has done such an amazing job of making us curious mm. about where do you stand? What are you about? Like our, our friend of foe, state your biz. Mm -hmm. And she even said, Foe, I don't like you. Yeah. You know, oh, I yeah. you know, yeah. but but I respect how you're going about what it is that you're going about, you know, the, the, uh, Lady Danbury. And I need you to maintain that because mm -hmm. being who we are in the positions that we are, we can't afford like this, this, this that you're having, this moment that you're having right now. Because mm -hmm. A, she's like, yo, I'm a lion. I've been born and bred as this. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been tested, battle tested. Mm -hmm. Now I will do anything it takes mm -hmm. in order to protect my family. Mm -hmm. And she sees... I think she sees a piece of that mm -hmm. in in Danbury, and she was like, you know, we'll, we'll drink to this weak moment. Mm -hmm. And she had the secret stash in her dress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, she is she is princess. Yeah, she Augusta. is the princess. Yeah. 
You know, it's just it was she was a surprising character that I off jump I was like I'm not gonna like her, and I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> well, and it's but I, I respect her. Well, you know? I was about to say I had the same impression of her that she had of Lady Danbury. Yeah. I don't like you. Yeah. I respect what you're doing for your country yeah. and for your son. Yeah, absolutely for your son. Yeah. Without a doubt. So I feel like I had the same impression of her that she had for Lady Danbury. Yeah. She said, you know, I don't like you, mm -hmm. but this is what I did. And the, what I had to do, I had to lay myself down at this man's feet, the king, you know, my stepfather, whatever. Yeah. And I didn't like him. I despised him. I bruised and battled for him, but I did what I needed to do to maintain my status. Yeah. And so I have the same expectation of you. It's mm -hmm. not just going to be given to you. Mm -hmm. There are some things that you have to fight for. Yeah. I also liked uh, at the very end mm -hmm. when Charlotte is talking to, to Lady Danbury, mm -hmm. I think to me is when she felt the most regal. You know, I, I think she really like sat in her power and she was like, this is who I am. That's how it felt. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, she went and addressed mm -hmm. her subject and mm -hmm. was like, I'm here to protect everything, mm -hmm. including you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we need to you know, we'll make sure that we're on the same page. I just liked her stature and how she carried it. Yeah. That version of young Queen Charlotte met the stature mm -hmm. of the old present version mm -hmm. of Queen Charlotte. Well, and she even said she was like, this is our crown. Yeah. You know what I mean? So even you coming to me is still me being able to hope, you know, maybe assist or deal with our country matters, our country men. Yeah. And, you know, me as your friend, also your queen, mm -hmm. you know, if there's something that I can do to help protect or help, you know, uh, with the cause, yeah. then, I, <laughs> then, you know, I'm here for that. And if you don't come to me, then that means that you don't think that I'm mm. understanding or capable and all of these things. Mm. So she was like, no, you need to know that yeah. this is what can happen and what I'm capable of. Yeah. Yeah. You know, one thing that I do, I really, I'm really impressed with is that they didn't make it seem like love was this magic fix for mental illness. Oh, and that, yeah, I and would that, hope they would In terms that it's a cure. Yeah. You know, I was hoping that they wouldn't go mm -hmm. the way it's like, well, she just held his hand and then he'd go to parliament and give this no. riveting yeah, speech no. and everything. Mm -mm. That's just not how it works in all situations. I know mental illness is a very complex thing, mm -hmm. but it takes something else. Mm -hmm. It's not a magic pill. Mm -hmm. And, but you still need love you know, in order to, to get through life, not just mental illness, you still need love to get through life. Mm. And and its significance plays a major part. So they did a really good job of explaining it, not watering things down, keeping things kind of real. Mm. That can't be an easy job. And then to explain it in sensible terms for something that happened hundreds of years ago mm. and still explain it in, in terms that still work today. Or, or vice versa, however however you flip that. You know, there wasn't a lot of clash in understanding what needs to be done when caring for somebody. Mm. So. Yeah, I just appreciate the fact, and I it's so interesting because I've used this, this term a lot recently, mm -hmm. but I just love the fact that she met him where he was. Like, this is just George. This is just George. Yeah, that's a very good point. And I, yeah. you know, if we need to go under the bed to have a conversation, you know what I mean? Like, if that's what makes you comfortable, mm -hmm. and I know that it will bring you comfort, and we can have a conversation, and mm -hmm. I can tell you this news that is, like, so important to both of us, yeah. then I'm going to get under the bed. Even yeah. as the queen in my gown and my hair, I'll read, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think you hit the nail right yeah. on the head, like... She really did meet him, mm -hmm. literally, at mm -hmm. his level. Mm -hmm. That also translates over to uh, Lady Danbury as well. Like, mm -hmm. she's still willing to have, like, these conversations. I wanted the doctor to get his just dues. He probably did. No, he probably did <laughs> Yeah, I don't he think didn't. he did. I don't think he did either. Yeah, you know, there's, I, yeah, I know no, you're not supposed to, you know, vengeance is in something in, in the Lord's hand. or yeah. I, I don't know how the term goes, but... There's a part of me that just wanted to be like, I wanted him to get his get his justice. Well, and here's the thing. He probably bit. did in some way, shape, yeah. or form that we're just not aware of. Yeah. I mean, and if you believe in um, karma yeah. or anything of that nature, then, oh, he got his. <laughs> he got it twofold, threefold, fourfold, yeah. you know. All right. Okay. Now, here comes the fun part. Right? Uh, the comments, you all are absolutely, I swear, this has been such a fun ride, and I'm not going to lie, I think. 
the biggest part of the fun has just been reading the comments. And thank you all being so respectful mm -hmm. uh, for not spoiling. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, no drum spoil. roll, please. No spoilers. That was awesome. Uh, first one comes from uh, Viola, who said, uh, I care not for his sanity. I care for his happiness. I care for his soul. Let him be mad if mad is what he needs. Mm -hmm. My favorite line from the episode. Love Charlotte's love and acceptance of George. It's beautiful. Loved your reaction as well. As always. Oh, thank you, Viola. Says, as always. Thank you. Oh, as always. <laughs> as, as always. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I star sob. Yeah. I okay. So. Uh, when you realize they purposely made Lady Lodger, Ledger an unlikable racist for us not to feel bad for Lord Ledger having an affair with Lady Danbury, and then realize that Lady Danbury slept with her friend's dad before they became friends. Yeah, it's a little cringy. It is. It is a lot. Ooh, it's, it's a lot. And you know, when Lady, uh, when, Lady, when uh, Violet finally realized that she was probably like, she did look a little Yeah, yeah, man, but how could you not? It's like, yeah, that was that's a little dad. grimy. That was my dad and you, you're my friend. You're a little grimy, We're but talking yeah. About <laughs> <laughs> I done told you about my garden and then you, you over with my, here. You over here with my daddy's home. Mm, okay. Mm, there we go. Okay. Uh, next one comes from uh, Chanel Davis. While I love watching you guys enjoy the show, I realized something about the families that came to see Landy Danbury regarding what happened after after Lord Danbury's death. Mm -hmm. Among the families was the Duke of Hastings, who is the ancestor of Simon, who was played by uh, Rage Jean Page, the main love interest from the first season. Mm -hmm. Not sure if it was his father in this episode since it wasn't the original actor, but maybe it was Simon's dad as a younger man. Mm -hmm. That. That's a great little Easter egg. Yeah, if that is what that is. I can't lie. Who and and uh, Chanel Davis, you for figuring that out or even noticing that yeah. is like insane to me we in a just, good way. Yeah, because yeah. I didn't notice not near a person that was in the room. Yeah, I was like, okay, <laughs> well, yeah. you know, there we go. Uh, zero zero seven Z lady. Uh, I believe the mourning period is one year and a day, and you can only wear black. After the initial mourning period was over, the griever could choose to wear subdued grays, purples, lilacs, and lavenders. Okay, that makes sense because in the previous episode we had asked, like, we don't know how long the mourning, the mourning period, period is. And do you have to wear the... black or how long? And yeah. um, I did notice in this episode that the mourning period was over when she had on, like, the, I think it was lavender, to yeah. be honest with you, a lot of times. Okay, well then, you were spot on on yeah. that, yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, Night Owl 30, who is our resident behind-the-scenes yeah, graphic yeah, yeah, yeah. designer on the show. Thank our, you so our much. Our resident yeah, expert. Yeah, our resident <laughs> behind-the-scenes expert, which we love. So this is a little lengthy, but it's very, very good information yeah. and, and fascinating uh, behind-the-scenes. So she said, he or she says, more fun uh, BTS facts, behind-the-scenes facts. The graphics department, which is the department I'm a part of, does all the letters, so like the you know, the letters they write. Mm -hmm. In fact, I was the person doing Queen, Queen Charlotte's letters. I researched her real life handwriting and learned how to write like wow. her. So you might be wondering, if I wrote them, how is she writing on camera? Uh, well, I write one full letter and make copies of that same letter for the various takes. Some copies are, are fully written, some are only half written, with the other half very faint and faded for the actress to write on top of. Get out of here. Some are fully written, but only the signature is missing for a signature shot. So it's loads of copies at different stages of writing so that the director, who is an amazing person, by the way, can be playful with his takes. Because main actors are expensive, they also had a black stand-in actress for the close-up shots of the handwriting the letter. I had to <laughs> I had to teach the stand and very quickly how to use the pen for them to take the shots. I am a white man. Oh, I'm a white man with terrible looking bitten nails and Queen, <laughs> and Queen Charlotte is a beautiful black woman with lovely nails, so there's no way I could write on camera myself, even though they tried without my fingers. My masculine, ghostly hand gave it away, <laughs> laugh out loud. Another, another curious thing, when you see a letter that does not need to be open on camera, the wax is actually red hot glue because it's easier and faster to use than wax. If the, if the letter needs to be open on camera, we use real wax. Okay. Thank now, you so much. Yo, thank you yeah. so much for putting for letting, yeah. letting us kind of like creep into your oh, world so that we yeah, can get, Yeah, I you love know. it. The behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, that's great. You know what? I know we don't have the link here, but I know in a previous uh, episode, so. you put a link to your Instagram so that they can see uh, more of your work. Mm -hmm. So if you are a, a fan of this, you know, go over there and, and, and support Absolutely. Uh, his Instagram. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Uh, this one is from uh, Alex C. Uh, the quickening is when a pregnant woman starts to feel her baby moving. Very old-fashioned term, of course. Mm -hmm. I thought we were talking about Highlander and the quickening. Yeah, I didn't know what we, I was like. I, never, I was like, I never heard of the quickening. I don't know what the quickening is. I yeah. have a child, and I had never heard of that. We were serious guys. Yeah, the, like, the quickening. Ooh. 
Like, Miss well, yeah. Miss Quick. Miss, oh my God. <laughs> and in my, and wait, and in my day, we called it, it was like champagne bubbles. Is that what it was? Yeah, for me. That's, okay. yeah, like that's what I always uh, knew the term as was like, it felt like champagne bubbles. All right, thank you. That's yeah. going to be it for the comments for this one. I just want to just take a quick moment. You all who have supported the channel and this review have mm -hmm. done just, you know, we're, I, as you can see, I'm a, a bit of a loss for words. I'm just very grateful mm. uh, because you did a very exceptional job of just spreading the word about mm. bringing uh, more views and mm. subscribers to the channel. And we are just extremely grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, if you want to get to know this oh. lady a little bit better. <laughs> well, I want to say thank you too. I, what yeah. I want to say is thank you first for following along with the journey and for no spoilers. Yeah. Like the fact that Absolutely. a lot of you binge watch the entire thing like in a day, which I could see how you would do because I would absolutely have done that too if I wasn't waiting on this one over here. But I'm just saying <laughs> like, I just really appreciate that there weren't any spoilers because then we were able to really like thoroughly enjoy every moment. Yeah. Thank you for that. If you want to get to know this lovely lady a little better, uh, Snooty Vegans on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, subscribe, follow along, link in description, tons of fun -o. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscription button, and of course, give us that thumbs up, because that's how the people know you're digging. We'll be giving you thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you so much. And if you've been enjoying, you know, the way we've been doing it, we got plenty of other shows on the channel. <laughs> so go check that out. We will catch you on the next series.